In this video, we will show you how to inspect the anode rod of a Bosch Tronic 3000T. Maintaining the anode rod is crucial in protecting the water heater from harmful elements in the water. If the rod is allowed to erode or become covered in scale, damage to the product will occur and leaking is likely. At that point it is too late to change the anode rod, and the only solution is to replace the water heater. This work requires removing the inspection cover and heating element assembly to gain access to the anode rod. If you are in doubt about how to safely work both on electrical products and pressurized hot water storage tanks, please obtain the services of a professional with these qualifications. Isolate the water heater from the electrical supply, depending on the model, this will mean either unplugging the water heater from a 120 volt outlet or turning off the appropriate circuit breaker. Once the water heater has been removed from the power supply, it now needs to be drained. First shut off the isolation valves in the plumbing to and from the water heater. Then to relieve pressure, open the hot water faucet that the water heater is supplying. We recommend completely uninstalling the water heater and pouring the stored water into a sink. If uninstalling the water heater isn't possible, the next best way to drain the unit is to remove the plumbing to the water heater's cold water connection. Then use a silicon hose inserted down into the water heater's cold water fitting to siphon out the stored water. Once you're sure that the water has been drained, you can now proceed to remove the front cover from the water heater. You are now ready to remove the heating element and anode rod. Start by prying up the small round plate to access a screw that holds the front plate on. Pry off the front plate. Remove the internal cover by removing these two screws. Remove power wires from the heating element. Remove the grommet and internal thermometer. Remove the ground screw and ground wire. Remove heating element nuts, they are 10 mm sockets. Pry out the heating element. Pull out the heating element with the attached anode rod. Inspect the anode rod. If the anode rod looks like this, it is still in good working order. The anode rod should be around 5 8 inches in diameter and a length of 6.5 inches for 2.5 to 4 gallon models. And 8.25 inches for 7 gallon models. If it has heavily pitted, or if the width and length has deteriorated, it must be replaced immediately. Thank you for watching.